During this video, we will show you how to clean an acid spill and some safety tips for handling acids in a laboratory. Here are some acids. Know where all MSDS sheet information is located before handling any acid chemical. Our MSDS sheets are located in the library on the first floor of this building. Okay. Here is an example of a material safety data sheet for acetic acid. It contains such information as composition and information on ingredients, potential hazards, first aid measures, fire and explosion data, accidental release, handling and storage, exposure controls, physical and chemical properties, stability and reactivity data, toxicological information, ecological information, disposal, transport, and regulatory information regarding that particular chemical. Know the location of your chemical spill kit. Your chemical spill kit should contain the following. An absorbent pad, neutralizing agent, plastic bags, labels, personal protective equipment such as gloves and goggles, um, a scoop and a dustpan. Always wear the appropriate personal protective equipment when handling acids. Brienne here will demonstrate uh, proper PPE. Make sure to wear a splash-proof apron when handling acids, wear your safety goggles, and your nitrile gloves. All acids should be stored in a corrosive cabinet. Acids should be stored in a tightly sealed container that is labeled in accordance with OSHA's hazard communication standard. The storage area should be detached and should be well ventilated and have acid resistant floors. Containers of acid should be protected from physical damage and should be stored separately from oxidizing agents, combustible materials, heat, sparks, and open flame. Because empty containers may contain acid residues, they should be handled appropriately. have a few tips on how to handle acids properly in a laboratory. Before we begin, always make sure you're wearing proper PPE. Your gloves, goggles, and a splash-proof apron. Okay. Remember to carry acids in a sealable container. Notice the cap. Always know what acids you're handling. And this today we are using acetic acid. Use a cart to transport your acid if available. It's always important to know how to properly pour acids. Before we begin again, make sure you're wearing your appropriate PPE. Brianne's demonstrating this for us. Okay. Um, Always pour acids under a fume hood. Make sure the fume hood is on and pull the splash guard shield down. Okay. Because acetic acid is a liquid, we're using an Erlenmeyer flask. Always pour acids into water. Never pour water into acid. If you pour acid water into acid, it may splash or cause fumes that may damage skin, eyes, and mucous membranes. Remember that acids are very corrosive.
So what do you do if you have a spill? Okay. The first step is to isolate the spill. Okay. Remove all trash, chairs, etc. from the area. Make sure to remove heat and electrical hazards. Okay. Tell everyone nearby uh, to avoid the spill area until it has been properly cleaned. Okay. <laughs> okay. Get chemical, uh, obtain your chemical spill kit. Okay. Place down absorbent pads to absorb the spill. Add neutralizing agent such as sodium bicarbonate or kitty litter. Okay. Um, pick up the absorbent pads and uh, neutralizing agent with your dust bins and dispose into the appropriate container. Because we have spilled acetic acid, we can throw them away into a conventional waste. Other acids may require uh, special disposal precautions and regulations. Refer to the MSDS sheets. 